I love when Rainier, and today we're going to be working on upgrading my uh, computer here uh, today. Uh, a couple things real quick here before we uh, get started. Uh, first off, I want to talk about what I'm currently running, what we're going to be upgrading to, and then also why I went with what we're uh, going with here. So uh, first off, I want uh, my current computer. I have an Intel 13900KF. Uh, the KF simply means it does not have the integrated graphics in it. So same as like a K CPU, just no uh, integrated graphics. Uh, running an MSI motherboard, I forget the exact uh, chipset on that, but uh, yes, an MSI motherboard, 64 gigs of RAM, and then I'm running a Corsair 360 AIO for cooling on that uh, Intel 13900KF. Speaking of that Intel 13900KF, Evan, that is the main reason I am upgrading here. And uh, you folks can let me know down in the comments if you think I'm actually upgrading here or not. Uh, in some sense, I am. But performance-wise, maybe not. But anyway, uh, yeah, keeping that 13900KF cool oven, just, I cannot keep that thing cool. That uh, Corsair 360 oven does not do the uh, job at all. Um, I used to run custom water cooling. I think that probably would have kept that uh, cooler, or that CPU cooler. But, uh... I don't remember why, but for some reason I ended up going with this. Something got, I don't know, messed up shipping brackets, whatever. I don't remember why, but all I know is for some reason I'm and I had to like hurry up, go get this for some reason, and I went with, uh, well, I went with that uh, Corsair 360 AIO. Uh, running six fans on it, by the way. I'm doing a push-pull design. Uh, we'll be uh, taking that out here, by the way. I don't know if you can see what we got sitting over here, but uh, uh, yes. So there's a push-pull radiator. The 360 radiator is sitting at the uh, top there. So anyway, what did I upgrade to it, and why did I go with what I went with? Well, I went with the Intel again, Evan. Uh, for those of you who kind of watch my live streams, you know, we kind of talked about this here. I was debating back and forth between Intel and AMD, uh, kind of looking at two uh, particular systems, the Intel 265 here, and then the AMD Ryzen 9800X3D. For those of you who are familiar with your computer stuff, the X3D processors tend to be really good at gaming. However, obviously that's not what I went with here. I went with the Intel one, and I had kind of two reasons for that. One, the price was right here. Uh, for the motherboard and the CPU oven, I ended up paying uh, just, uh, well actually not just, it was actually $420 here for this uh, set. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good price. The uh, 9800X 3D probably would have ran closer to 600, I believe. Uh, initially, I was planning on running down to Micro Center to uh, get this here. Uh, but Amazon Prime days just happened here a couple of days ago, and well, Amazon Prime, uh, pretty much the same price. The only difference is I didn't have to travel three and a half hours to get it. It got delivered right to my front door, or actually, I guess two and a half hours, I guess that's what it was. I'm, I'm about two and a half hours from the closest micro center one. Speaking of which, by the way, if you live near a micro center one, they got some really awesome deals on motherboard and CPU and RAM combos. Now, I didn't get RAM in this case. I'm gonna plan on reusing my RAM. I've got 64 gigs of RAM in this uh, system here. Uh, so I'm hoping I can just reuse that. I mean, I should be able to DDR5 here. So use that in the uh, new system here. So again, like I said, went with the Intel uh, 265K here. This is the uh, newest, the, uh, the Core Ultra series here. Uh, it's not the 285 one. The 285 is the largest. Then I believe the 265 is the uh, next one here. So I didn't go as big as I could have here. Uh, just again, got a really good deal. At least I thought it was a really good uh, deal. And I went with another MSI motherboard here. This is the Z, I believe, 890? 890 chipset, I believe it is. Yeah, Z890 chipset on this uh, motherboard. Uh, no, no RAM, like I said, going with RAM in the system. Again. And then for cooling here. Yes, I got the big boy not to oven. I am going air cooling here this time around. We're going to see once how that goes here. Uh, I'm hoping for a couple things here with this. This uh, CPU. Hopefully we'll run a little bit cooler, a little bit less power. Hopefully this knock to it can keep it cool and also keep it quiet. That's kind of a, one of my complaints here with this system. I want, it gets loud, like trying to keep that uh, 13900 cool oven. It just, it, yeah, it gets loud trying to keep it cool. And second, it doesn't keep it cool. Like after probably about 10 minutes, it's pretty much at thermal and it's, yeah. I don't know if it quite thermal throttles, but it's pretty much right at the edge where it's almost gonna thermal throttle. Which begs the next question, why did I also go with this? Like I said, obviously not the best for gaming, I won. It was the right price. Also, I do a lot of video editing. Because of that, I won. That is why I went with the Intel system here again. 
Uh, that is why I went with the Intel system on this one. I did have an AMD CPU before this system. Very happy with it. However, when it came to video editing stuff, Evan, the system I wouldn't say it was quite as stable as I wanted it to be. Uh, I would say the Intel system here has been much more stable. Uh, and that is kind of one of the reasons why I went with this here again. Um, as far as gaming is concerned, Evan, AMD seems to pretty much be the king there, especially with their X3D CPUs, right? However, when it comes to non-gaming performance, that one, Intel pretty much just, uh, like it's not, it's barely even a competition. Intel just wipes the floor with AMD in most cases. So um, anyway, enough talking, Evan. Let's get this uh, computer open here. Let's get the, uh, the, the heart out, so to speak, and let's put the new heart in. Okay, but I think I got everything uh, mostly unboxed here. Here again is the uh, motherboard here. This is the uh, MSI Pro Z890S Wi-Fi edition. To be honest, I'm not going to care less about the uh, Wi-Fi. We're going to be uh, plugging this in. I believe it has 2.5 gig onboard networking, if I remember correctly. I don't think it was quite uh, 10. So let's uh, pop this uh, CPU out here. Oh, look at that. I could uh, put that factory uh, tag back on if I wanted to. All right. No one will know. It's like, wait a minute, where is it? Yeah, part of this assembly here. There we go. Push down on that. How's this latch? Oh, gotta open up from this side. There we go. Try and open up from the wrong side. And do not drop the CPU here on the socket. Let's see, corner. Where's our corner here? I do believe it is that right there. Drop it down in there nice. Push that latch down, there we go. And that of course should uh, pop out once we have that in. Party, huh? Yep. Okay. And then for cooling, everyone, yes, we got the big boy Nocto here. So let me uh, get my brackets out a minute and uh, see once what we need for brackets here. Okay, I believe I got all the hardware out and the back and plate here for the Intel. This looks fairly uh, straightforward. That goes, okay, you know what? You might have to watch because it looks like it can go different angles here depending on, oh, it can only go, maybe it only does go one way. Okay, and then we put that little plastic clip on there. As you can tell, I'm mean, gonna obviously I went with the all black knock to a cooler here. Yeah, no way I'm putting any of that the ugly uh, brown crap in my system. I, mean, I, I don't know who in their right mind. I mean, I guess if you got a solid case, you know, solid uh, panel, you can't see inside your computer. That might be great, but uh, yeah. Or maybe if you're doing like a wood build or something. I mean, otherwise, like I don't know who in their right mind is putting that ugly crap in their. Uh, Computer. I, I know Noctua might make some of the best coolers out there, everyone, but let's face it, they're also some of the absolute ugliest. Okay. Just the like a so. And then we need, let's see, what are the directions say here next? Oh, so we need the blue ones. We need the blue. We got 1851, I believe, is the uh, socket on this one, right? I believe that's the socket number. Don't quote me on that one, everyone. So blue. Oh, 1851 is position two. Oh, there's two positions on here. Okay, that's why. So position two. go and then I believe it's these right here now looking at this here I have one I think we have to wait till I get my RAM and stuff out before I actually put that on make sure it's gonna clear here as well looks like we can actually probably put it this way if we have to yeah, so that fan will clear either side. Uh, obviously, if we got to put it this way, I'll probably end up flopping the, at least I'm assuming you can swap the fans around of them, and we'll want to blow out towards the back of the case. But yeah, let me, uh, let's get the RAM out of the current system, Evan. 
get that in there. I probably want to put my uh, M.2 SSD in there as well, because that's probably going to get... Yeah, it's definitely not going to make it easy. Let's put it that way. So we'll, uh, we'll definitely want to install that as well. Might as well install the other. I believe I got two SSDs in there. I'll have to double check. And then of course, we'll have the graphics card. And I believe... I think I've got a capture card in there as well. So we'll probably put that in as well. Okay, when well, I could be wrong here, but I think this is the uh, first time I've actually had this open since upgrading to this uh, system here. Yeah, I'm probably not the greatest at uh, cleaning my uh, computer out, but I think given what it looks like here, it's actually not uh, too bad here. So, you know, try to keep it uh, somewhat clean on the outside, and hey, it looks uh, looks almost brand new on the inside here, I uh, would uh, say. So anyway, we'll start by getting the graphics card out here. Still rocking the RTX uh, 3080 here. This is kind of what I wanted to upgrade this year, Evan, but uh, well, for those of you who have seen the graphics cards, uh, yeah, that might not happen, at least not for a while yet. So we'll see once. We will see once, Evan. Instead, we're doing a uh, motherboard and CPU upgrade. Again, not exactly what I was planning on. I was planning on hopefully trying to do a graphics card upgrade, but I think the, uh, the 3080 will have to do for a little bit longer here. Okay, we're gonna take that out. And the graphics card here, we got the, there we go, graphics card out. Set that off to the side here a minute. for the next uh, motherboard. Yeah, I think, yeah, we're going to take that off, I think, probably here. Let's see, disconnect that fan. All the various wire connectors down here. Actually, I'm not even sure, I'm not sure what that one's uh, for. USB, USB. Fan, I presume, US. No, that's all the front I.O. Okay. Oh, we got some more. I think that's, uh... yeah, I think that's RGB there, I think. Oh, yeah, fan there. Power up here. Other power connector up here. Let's see, is that one? This board. Okay, this board has two, and then there's also one at the bottom. I'm not sure what that one, oh. Okay, we'll have to look. Because yeah, there's one at the bottom. I definitely don't have one at the bottom on this one, Evan, so I'm not sure. I'll have to look and see if we uh, need that or not. Let's uh, take this cooler off here a minute. Okay, I'm gonna flip the uh, computer over, Evan, so I can get to the back there. I forgot all the wires for the fans are connected to that. Uh, there's a hub here for these Corsair fans that they all plug into. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and uh, pull the M.2s out here a minute. Let's see, is that a one? I'd say that feels pretty good to me. I sat down with my old machine. Dusty fan humming. Ah, still the old screw down style on this motherboard, eh? A relic of time. So one. Slow as molasses. Couldn't keep up, not in these classes. Now, I know there's a second one, but I don't remember if it's the number two. But I knew it was number two. I don't see one and three or four. At least I'm pretty sure there's a second one. If not, I'm not sure where it is. Ah, yes, there we go. A brand new sheet. 
pulled out the board screws on the floor Tossed the pen and can't take no more Ram sticks shining like a summer stream Building a future, chasing the dream Static crackling under my feet But this upgrade's gonna feel so sweet I'm upgrading my silicon dream Swapping out parts, chasing new speeds Processors faster, motherboards clean The soul rig's getting a brand new sheet I think we're gonna call this uh, good. We got the audio, USB headers, USB 3.0 headers, power, uh, fan connectors, power up there, power on the GPU. Yeah, I think we're all hooked up, all the front uh, I.O. connectors, power switch, all that uh, good stuff, SATA. Yep, got four, I'm using all four of them here on this uh, board. So I think we'll put the panels back on and uh, we're ready to see if this thing will fire up. Okay, well, I think with that, we're going to wrap this uh, video up here. I just fired the uh, computer up. It went through its uh, thing there in the uh, BIOS, and then Windows did its update thing because, of course, we got a new CPU and uh, motherboard, everyone. Uh, looks like all the RAM is showing up. The CPU is working. I think this was probably one of the easiest upgrades I have ever done. I'm mean, probably just a little over maybe hour, hour and a half here, and then absolutely no issues plugging in. Hooked everything up, hit the power button. Like I said, it took maybe a couple minutes the first time. I was starting like, oh boy, something's going to go wrong. And it's, it seems like every time we do that, when you've got to unplug something, plug something back in, right? It seems like that's always the uh, way it goes until you get everything working. But uh, this time, from what I can tell, but everything is uh, working here. The computer's running uh, great. You folks are not going to be able to tell this on camera, but I hit that power button, and I don't hear the sound of a jet engine taking off. So that is a big win here so far. Now, of course, I'm going to have to do some more work on the computer, and you know, do some video editing. We'll see what's what it sounds like then. But so far, I'm very, very happy with how this uh, computer is sounding. That is definitely one of my big complaints here. Uh, previously, I went, uh, again, with that uh, 13900 uh, KF CPU there, that thing just did not stay cool, which meant your fans were running at 100% or nearly 100% most of the time, just trying to keep that thing, you know, from uh, burning up. So that one, thanks for watching. Hope folks enjoyed here. Is this an upgrade? Maybe, I don't know. It's kind of maybe more of a sideways upgrade, if anything. It might even be a slight downgrade going to the 265 there, one. But as far as sound and then hopefully power, this should be a lot better. So, again, yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time.